and Missy's here. Yeah. yeah. And Sorry, here. folks. I was busy. <laughs> and Justin's still home. Yeah. But it's all right. He'll be. He'll be. We'll all be reconnected soon. Yeah. Um. But SmackDown Live, it started off with AJ Styles. Of course. Phenomenal. Mm, phenomenal. AJ Styles. And he's just pretty much saying this is the house that AJ Styles oh, built. Hell. And then Sami Zayn came out. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> he's like, don't worry. I don't want to be here either because I'd rather be somewhere else. Yeah, we all know where from last and night. And <laughs> he's like, Oh, since we're doing this wild card, I want to be a wild card rule. And he called out on Styles' as ego. And Styles is saying about Sami Zayn stinking because of the garbage that Braun Strowman did. these hands. Yeah. And Sami's like, ha, ha, ha. I was joking about I stink. And then all you hear is, take a shower. To take a, a shower. shower. Yeah. And then out comes Kofi Kingston and Woods. And and they're like, really have a party without inviting that new day? Yay. Of course. And then and then um Kofi's like, We get it, AJ Styles. This is the stuff he goes, We get it. This is the house of AJ Styles bed. But you don't live here no more. Yep. And then he goes, what I want to know is, what are you doing here tonight? Yeah. Style says, wasn't you on Raw, so why don't I do the favor to be here? And, and then he called him the champ, and Kofi goes, yeah, I am the champ. Oh. And then he's like, he wants a title shot, whatever. And then Sam's like, no, no, no. Don't tell me you're going to give him a title shot. No. Oh. These, these, these people caught you in a trap, Kofi. They want you to do, get, they want you to give them what they want. No, you don't need to defend that title. Who needs a title shot is me. I need it. To tell the truth. A champ to tell the truth. And then, Kofi's just saying, what he did yesterday, last night on Raw, proved that it wasn't a fluke of him winning the title. Yeah. And he wants to be a fighting champ. And he'll fight anybody. He don't care if it's Styles or Zayn Zayn. He don't care. So. But he'll still be the World Heavyweight Championship. Championship. Yeah. So. What was that? It's awesome. And the first match of the night was um, Mustafa Ali going against Cien Olmez, which ended up being a DQ because Randy Orton came out and he's there, he's ended up fighting. Ali's fighting back, and then he runs and then ends up going into um, an RKO, and then Cien tries to go after him into an RKO, so and Orton stands tall. So it's it's just leading to the money in the bank. Who's gonna be? better in it. Yep. And then you got Shane McMahon. He's talking about the SmackDown Loser. Tag Team titles. Of course. And he's saying how Lars Sullivan, he made the t uh, champs, Jeff and Matt, well mainly Jeff, injured. So now he's going to find worthy Tag Team champs. And he found them and he sh takes out Danny Bryan and Rowan. Fickle. They're coming out, and then the Usos are like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then she's like, what are you doing here? You're on Raw now. And then Usos like, well, Rain said this is his yard, and he said we could stop in at, at times. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, my Roman. <laughs> and then he goes, we all had to earn it, like us, the bar, the club. Or whatever, we had to earn it. What? Then, and then she's like, "Oh, the really boo boo." And then he ends up saying, and then they're like, "That's Patrick and SpongeBob, or Beavis and Butthead." <laughs> yep. I, and then um, she's like, "You know what? Maybe you maybe maybe you have to earn it." And I like this. I like this. I might ha I might be happy to enjoy this. 
these guys kicking your butts all the way back to roll empty handed. So I end up being Dana Bryan and Rowan versus Usos to see who will get the Usos. SmackDown Tag Team titles. Yep. But the Usos so don't win. They nah. uh, lose. Dana Bryan and Rowan win. Of course. They, they, try, they try to do a double suicide dive and this and that. And then one got caught by the Rowan when Rowan choked. And then Rowan choke slammed the one for the win. So. Yeah, he kept trying to get to the rope, but he kept pulling him back. It, it was back and forth. He got him up in a roll, you know, like back up, roll up, and it, it was crazy. Yeah. It was just... But they lost. Yeah. Of course, Fickle had to win it. Fickle! Need to join him in the porter party. <laughs> and now, now, and the... Shane again, he's talking about the money in the bank matches. And just right about when he's talking, out comes the Miz. And he's coming, he's tagging them, going all the way to the stage. And then all of a sudden, you have the B team coming out and attacking the Miz. And Miz tried to fight him off, and, but, and then Shane came out and hit him on a chair behind and laid him out. Stand tall, Shane McMahon. Obviously, that rivalry is going to. And probably when the Miz wins, probably. Yeah. Or it might not. That's going to be a hard... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. And then, next is a woman division match. Amber Moon and Carmella. Sweet. Versus, ugh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Ugh. Oh, my Hell God. No. Um, Amber... <laughs> Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville win. Mandy Rose did her like finisher to Amber Moon, and then um, out comes Paige with Kari and Oscar. She's pretty much saying, "Oh well, yeah, I used to manage you guys, but now I went far, far up mm -hmm. and managed these guys." Which yeah. next week you're gonna go against you. Look forward to that. They were both shaking their heads in the ring. Yep. Mandy Rose. You were like. Like, we just won. Like, really? And then, and then you're, there's backstage with um, Matt Hardy. He's talking about that Jeff did his surgery. He'll be back when he, when he heals. And Truth comes out, and he's like, wait, I gotta talk to you about something. Oh, wait, I just lost thought. Hmm? And Matt's like, Matt's like, was it about Lars Sullivan? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't really want to try to remember that. Then he's talking, and then Lars Sullivan comes in and attacks. Yeah. So, and then the main event of SmackDown ends up being AJ Styles. Uh, yeah. Versus Sami Zayn. Loser. Versus Kofi Kingston. Yeah. And a triple threat for the world title. Mm-hmm. And that match ended up being a good match of all of them, even though... At the end, I don't know, Styles must have got her somewhere in the, you know. <laughs> but, um, end up being Kofi and Zim Zayn at the end of the match. Kofi end up winning. Um, because Owens, he actually came out during the match. He's attacking Xavier Woods. Yep. And then Sammy tried, because Kofi was focusing on Woods, Sammy tried to uh, do, um, uh, what's that called? Um... A blue thunder bomb, and he pinned. Kofi kicked out, and then he did a second one, kick out, another one, kick out. Oh yeah. And Owen's just like, <sighs> and then he ends up. Uh, Kofi ends up doing a trouble in paradise for the win. Oh yeah. So, yay! Kofi still champ. Yeah. So. But also they had that. Thing they had on Monday Night Raw again with um, that creepy set. Yeah, it's the, pretty much the repeat they had on Raw with the Firefly ha Firefly Funhouse. Why don't they change it instead of keep repeating the same thing on Monday Night to switch over to? What is it because maybe it's because nobody really. Sometimes people don't watch Monday Night. Maybe they only watch Tuesday Night. I have no idea. But if you if they they should change it. Uh. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry. Next Monday, you're gonna see a new thing. I know. I wonder what next week's gonna. Be. It's definitely gonna be something. I don't know. When's he coming back to wrestle? I have no idea. 
So, um, that pretty much was SmackDown. What did you thought of it, of this week of SmackDown? Did you like it? What was your favorite part of it? Did you, are you excited for Oscar and Kai versus Main Rose and Sunny Deville? Yep, and did you like how Porter Potty <laughs> went after Kofi Kingston? Did you like how Kofi saw champ? Do you like that Dana Bryan Rowan's the new SmackDown Tag Champs? Do you even like this story thing, or? Let us know. Let us know anything about SmackDown. Yeah. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And Hi. now it's 2.05 live. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. It started... It started off with, right, with a match. Arya, Arya Divari, and he's going to Noem Dar. Mm -hmm. Now, Tony, come, Tony ah, Nese is coming out. He wants to watch the match. And Arya is, like, looking at Tony Nese. He's like, why don't you worry about him then worry about me later? Mind games. That's all he's doing. Mind games. And then... They're doing the match, um, but Arya Divari ends up winning with, like, he did a, um, a splash off to the top rope, yep. then he did a hammer lock. He also, he, before that he countered with the ankle lock, because Noam Dar got, had him in an ankle lock. And then, he's, uh, Arya Divari is facing the one way, Tony Nese is in the ring behind him, and then he gave him a surprise shot, and, um, he's like, Divari didn't know. It could have happened. But now, yeah. you never know. And he yeah. walks away. So, this, so who, who who do you want to win that at? Aria Divari or Tony Nese? Ab checker. Probably better. I think Tony Nese is still going to be champ. I don't, I don't think he's going to lose it that easy. Nah, because he just got it. But next week, um, it's going to be Tony Nese versus... Nagaro? Some blue mask with horns like this. I never heard of him. But, and then there's there's gonna be another next week mask with Galler and Humberto and two other guys. I don't remember the guys' names. It's gonna be a fatal four way. But, that's next week too. And then there was a thing with Oni Lorcan. He's just pretty much saying that he's gonna fight harder, he's gonna win, blah, blah, it's, blah. It, yeah, it's pretty much just talk. Like, okay, well then stop talking and do something about it. Baldy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then you got the Singh Brothers. Of course. Oh. And they went against Local Talent. No. No. Stop doing <laughs> that. No more. <laughs> God, you're gonna give everybody nightmares. Every time you do those hip sways. Ugh. And, um... Then they just end up winning with a top elbow drop. And then they just talk about being the best after the match. Pretty much like, what's a five minute match or lower. And then the main event was Mike Canales versus Akira Tawaza in a no DQ match. Maria Canales was banned from ringside because um, Drake's like, oh, whoa, 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 Maria, you said you want some things that are best for this match. And yeah. you're barred from the ringside. So, and then, right in the beginning of the match, Akira already grabs him and goes to the outside, so beats him outside, they, and then Mike got yep. some punches on Akira outside, just yep. kept going back and forth. He got some and then, toys. And then, Mike, o Mike almost won when he did like a fireman carry, laying on the garbage can, trash can, but Akira kicked out. But, um, Akira, he did a suplex on the outside apron ring. Yeah. Um, and then he has him on the table. He went to the top corner. Mike got off the table. And then Akira back to his feet. Akira grabbed Mike. Counters with Akira. Lift up Ki Akira and counters him. Like, okay, they're both at the top of the uh, rope. And then he's trying to, Kira's trying to punch. Then Mike's trying to get him to go put him through the table. But uh, Kira ends up lifting up and flipping to put Mike through the table. Which was awesome. Yes. And then 
he end up Akira end up getting a chair, putting his arm in, I think, and then he goes and does the high sentai or running sentai top rope thing onto Mike and Alice, and he ends up winning. And then Maria comes out and she's checking on Mike, and Brian's celebrating with Akira, yeah. but but that was just creepy what he did in the like you know like oh with the smile he's like so no. you know. He looked like he was all drunk, like he was swaying, and then all of a sudden, like out of the blue, like it was getting towards the end, he made this creepy ass smile. It's like, ugh. Yeah. I don't know what was creepier, his smile or that freaking thing on uh, SmackDown with <laughs> I don't know. Bray Wyatt. But yeah, let us know what you thought yeah. of uh, 205 Live. Did you thought anything? Are you looking forward to see the next week with the Fatal Four Way or, um, you know, what? What more surprises that are in store? Yeah. Just let us know. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.